when I get married, my natural hair becomes private. So when I go into the world, I will wear a wig, a shaitel. It's a tradition. A tradition that Sarah and I used to talk about as children. Tease each other about what color shaitel we'd get. Green or blue or purple. <laughs> there was a time we said we'd get matching shaitels. There was also a time we said we'd get very different shaitels and just swap with each other whenever we wanted. <laughs> Sunday was going to be the big day when we'd spend hours and hours in the shop trying on every single style, even the craziest ones. So when she texted to say she couldn't make it, I burst into tears. It was very sudden. My brothers rushed in because apparently I was crying very loudly and I don't cry. I'm very good, very well practiced at not crying. Luckily, my future mother-in-law was in town, so my father asked her to take me. She keeps telling everyone what an honor it is to take the rabbi's daughter to choose her first shaitel. Chestnut brown. Most young wives go for natural, but excitingly enhanced. I could find myself a colorist to add golden highlights at the ends. Shoulder length. Any longer and I won't command respect. Respect I'm going to need when dealing with Sarah and her new found friends. My natural hair is tangled and frizzy and takes hours and hours to attain. My natural hair never stays in place and is an endless source of shame. But soon no one, no one will need to know what's underneath the perfect hair that will sit on my imperfect head. No, no one, no one will need to see what's underneath my mother's scarves I will wear in my home even when I'm tucked up in bed. If the worst part of me is hidden and never needs to show, then no one, not even I will need to know. Dense but not too thick. That's the trick of achieving the mitzvah of modesty. Thank God, respectful beauty is something I can simply own. 360 lace holds hair in place to be done in a multitude of ways. Though I will happily become the kind of girl Sarah calls a clone. My natural hair's a problem, a headache, impossible to cure. My natural hair looks confused and refuses to mature. But soon no one, no one will need to know what's underneath. The perfect hair will sit on my imperfect head. No, no one, no one will need to see what's underneath my mother's scar. I will wear even in my bed. If the worst parts of me are hidden and never need to show, then no one, not even I will need to know. Sarah says shaitals are silly, but then she always looks perfect. And her brand of perfection is always achieved without a care. Sarah is obsessed with my horrendous mess. She once begged me to never get married, but only because she'd miss my hair. My stupid strands are awful. They shouldn't be natural. The Lord Hashem must have made a mistake. Naturally, it's wrong and unruly. I'll happily buy the best replacement they make so that no Strange 
strangest dreams in thy bed. If the worst parts of me are hidden and never need to show, then no one, not even I, will need to know. If the worst parts of me never show, they won't exist as far as I